Well, our U.S. senators in Washington, D.C. are fighting for Nevada to get resources and funding that we need during this pandemic. And Democratic Senator Catherine Cortez Masto was at the helm of mental health legislation that passed the Senate today. She is well aware of all of our major issues that Nevada is facing right now, from the broken unemployment system to CCSD and our local governments with budget shortfalls to our devastating tourism hit. There's no playbook for this. There's, we are all experiencing this for the first time. And, and really that's why it requires all of us to work together in the state of Nevada. Unfortunately, we have a broken unemployment system. We've been inundated at Channel 13 with people crying out for help. You've heard the same complaints. My understanding is they are working 24 seven. They're looking to get it up as quickly as possible. Let, let me just say this, I, I, because I've heard from so many people and rightfully so, because there are many people who are going without for the last six or seven weeks. And it, if you're still struggling, please reach out to my office. Um, let us know how we can help. You know what, Senator, that's very needed. And I'm glad you're saying that to our audience because there are people who are literally desperate. They have never been in food lines. Now they're in food lines. We're looking at the next relief package. We're really looking at how we uh, maybe do a better job of getting money directly to individuals. Does the federal government need to step in and help these local governments? Yes, I, I believe they do. And that's why I supported the initial uh, tranche of money that we set aside in the CARES Act to go to state and local government. And we need to do more. We have to make sure that the money gets to really some of those smaller local governments mm -hmm. in our urban areas, but, not, but most importantly in our rural areas as well. Um, they didn't see some of this money because of the formula that was um, uh, initially in the CARES Act and it didn't get to them directly. There's been also talk about Las Vegas possibly needing its own stimulus package because we are so unique here and not well diversified. Visitors don't feel safe coming back to Nevada. Uh, they're not going to come. And right. so we have to make sure we get this right. I think there is a balanced approach. I, I support what the governor is doing. He is now listening to everyone. Yeah, and Senator Cortez Masto always says that on her website, there is an online portal there of a list of resources that are available to you. She encourages everybody to check it out.